Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we found the A1 matrix, it's now time to find the A2 matrix, which is just this component here. I've just rewritten that over there, so it's the same thing. There's the A2 matrix. So now, just like the um, A1 matrix, we're going to go find it the same way. So this is equal to 0. So for cos CB, we always know it's 0 minus something. Cos CB, so we go to C. Cos is horizontal across to B. So this is our reference axis. So it's 0 minus minus 3. So minus minus 3 on the length of member CB. CB is 5 meters in length. This would be 0. Sine CB. So sine from C to B. So fixing us at C, going across to B. But now we're doing sine, which is vertical. Here's our reference axis. So it's 0 minus. This reference axis means we're going up, which is positive, 4 meters. We're going up 4 meters. So plus 4 on a length of 5 meters, because the member CB is 5 meters. This would be 0, 0 cos of AB, so I just did 0, 0 there, just copying the 0, 0, cos of AB, so we starting at A, going to B, this is our reference axis, so we know we do 0 minus, I'm just going to put 0 minus there as well, so it's 0 minus cos of AB would be 0 minus plus 3 meters on the length, which is 3 meters, so plus 3 on top of 3, ah, oh, sorry, I did that in the wrong place. So that is 0 minus plus 3 on 3. The last component sine AB. So sine AB is from there to there. Sine we know is Y, so it's vertical. We're not actually going any vertical from A to B, so it's just 0 minus 0, and we can put it on the length, which is 3 meters, that length. So there we have the A2 matrix. We can now calculate it.